Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this episode is about the most important thing you should learn before doing any data science or programming. And that is problem solving mindset. So basically solving problems is the most important thing you can learn while trying to do data science because data science is all about problems. It's very practical. Uh, you, basically, when you're trying to get a job or if you're already working as a data scientist, you're solving problems. And uh, if you're a software engineer, you're sol solving problems as well. You're solving problems in life, but actually thinking in uh, about it in terms of like having a framework, having a mindset of problem solving is really crucial. So this is what we mathematicians are doing. Uh, we learn how to solve problems and then we try to apply that uh, along the way, proving theorems, proving uh, different new kind of lemmas, all that stuff. And this kind of mindset is really, really useful. So let me give you a perspective on that. So. Actually, learning right now how it is done in school is basically that you have some material, you have some examples, and you're trying to uh, find your way through the problems, try to understand, I don't know, multiplication of matrices or whatever it is uh, that you're learning. But then when you are at the research level or where you're in the real world and trying to solve the problems which you can't just find the answer online or in your exercise books or you don't have a teacher to give you an answer then what do you do then and the answer is that you go backwards from the top trying to understand what's along the way so it would take you too much of the time if you were trying to learn everything along the way uh, normally what you do you learn the, the most recent paper you try to do to understand what people are doing currently and then you work backwards through references, through different books. So say you want to understand how, uh, I don't know, backpropagation works and then you try uh, go backwards to understand what kind of linear algebra you need to understand this concept, what calculus you need to understand this concept. So that's the way to actually approach, for example, learning uh, neural networks or machine deep learning. Uh, but actually, this kind of uh, mindset is really great in any kind of problem solving. So if you have a problem, you try to split this problem, divide and conquer, split this problem into smaller cases, uh, try to play around with toy cases and solve them. Uh, and if you can't do that, then try to simplify the scenario, try to find the answers and solutions to the simplified scenario and then go backwards and backwards until you get some kind of a result which will put you on the right path. And of course, asking people, reading books, reading references online uh, is great, but also this kind of a mindset of like trying to solve the problem, trying to divide it into smaller pieces, then trying to understand each small piece very well and progress based on that is really important. So. Uh, I, re I really recommend trying to practice that and there's no better way to practice it than actually try to solve problems. So uh, that can be any kind of mathematical problems, computer science problems, data science problems, uh, everything works once you try to think about, okay, I have this problem and I, what, what's the mindset for that? What's the output that I need to give? Uh, what's the input I'm getting? What kind of data I'm use, uh, working with? So it's all about being conscious about the problem, about the solution, and then finding the path, building the strategy for the proof, building the strategy for the solution. So uh, even if you're approaching a problem you don't know nothing about, you can try to imagine what will be the strategy to solve it, what kind of methods you want to apply, what kind of techniques, algorithms will go into the solution, and then try to test it. So this, uh, this problem solving mindset is all about being conscious on how to solve problems, how to build a strategy around the problem in order to find a solution. So that might not work, but at least you will have some kind of techniques that you will want to try. So this is all about it. Uh, and the best way is trying. Like I, I say it again and again, data science is very practical. It's all about trying, testing, failing, trying again until you finally succeed. Thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.